So in this film, you portray death. Um, what made you want to take that one on? <laughs> well, I'm not actually portraying death. I am portraying death, but I'm portraying a character portraying death. So that little trajectory I thought was quite interesting. And I love the idea of playing this out of work, <laughs> you know, struggling actress well past, well past her so-called prime, although I hate that phrase. I shouldn't even use it. But, um, you know, still still dedicated, still idealistic, still working and believing in the theatre, you know. So it was that, that was the character that I, uh, you know, that I sort of really wanted to play. And then, uh, obviously, then she plays this character of death. And, um, and then I had to think about, okay, I'm this person, how would she play death? So, you know, that was quite an interesting sort of little actor's trajectory. And your own career trajectory has um, continued, you know, past the ages of 40, 50, 60, past that kind of Hollywood fuckable age, which is, you know, sometimes a challenge for women in Hollywood. How do and men. And men. Okay. No, not just do you think women. so? Oh, yeah. Okay. Absolutely. And men. And then maybe a little more extreme for women because there's so many, even now, so many less, less roles for women in general than there are for men. But, um, you know, men go through that too. You know, it's, it's kind of understandable because, you know, you're, um, it's a big screen, you know, and, and we, love, we all love to look at beautiful things. Mm -hmm. And in the, in the film, uh, Will Smith's character, he actually at one stage refers to you as an elderly woman. I know, I was so <laughs> insulted when I saw the finished film. I, 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 if I'd seen that earlier, when it was still in the editing, I would have gone to David saying, take that line out. <laughs> because I don't think that's how we feel about you as an I audience. Well, you know, but I am, in a way. I certainly am for a 20-year-old, 20 20 year you know. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm sure, you know, you're probably, what, in your 30s? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, every age you reach becomes the age you are, and, and you look back at youth and forward, you know, and your, your view changes all the time. Mm -hmm. But certainly when you're 20, you, you know, yes, a 70-year-old person is elderly, no question. But this is what it looks like. <laughs> it looks amazing. And it's great. <laughs> <laughs> and you've spoken as well about sexism in the workplace in the 70s. And we've sort of seen that, you know, it's had a bit of a, a revival recently. We've seen that Michael Parkinson interview. Yes. yes. Um, are we in a better place now for women? Oh, my God, Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I, I'm absolutely mm -hmm. so much better. The only thing I regret about being as old as I am is that I'm not young now, if you know what I mean, because it was frustrating and annoying and heartbreaking and, and enraging to be young in the 70s, a woman, young woman in the 70s, mm -hmm. because women, you know, had at least young women, as far as I was concerned, I seemed to feel, were like way ahead of the culture. The culture took just such a long time to catch up. And it's only just recently, really, that it's just beginning to catch up. Mm -hmm. So um, that's the only thing I kind of regret about not having been born later, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You were doing your best, presumably, <laughs> against the I sort of I was doing my best, of, yes, yes. Of sexism. Yes, but, and not just from men, incidentally, women too. Um, so, um, it, you know, it, 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 it was enraging. You, uh, frustrating, I guess, is a better word.